So I'm back in Australia now after flying overnight on Qantas Flight 8, which is the non-stop from Dallas, USA into Sydney, Australia. It's a 16 plus hour flight. And uh, what I did during that flight was take a lot of video. I've recorded the uh, log on two separate GPS units. This is the original Bad Elf Pro. And uh, while I was in the USA, I picked up the later model, which is the uh, GPS Pro Plus, which also has the GLONASS satellite capability, which is the Russian system and also uh, Compass, which is the same one that Chippy mentioned in his uh, latest video. So the purpose of uh, taking the Compass on board was really just to show you that they are completely useless for analyzing the flight routes inside the cabin of an aircraft. And you'll see that very clearly in my video. I actually have lots of footage showing that the Compass is unreliable, but uh, what I've just decided to do, I have many hours of footage. I just decided to make a very short version to get uh, uploaded today. And I'll spend uh, maybe a week or so just going through the rest of the footage and making a, a longer, more detailed version. But um, I've also got two iPads in the video, and uh, one of the iPads is linked to this GPS. You'll see that one will have blue vertical bars. That's the Navstar satellite. The iPad linked to the Pro Plus um, will have blue and green um, vertical bars, which indicate the, uh, the American and the Russian satellites. So the purpose of this video is just to show that um, during the flight, the GPS never dropped out. I'll do a detailed analysis of the flight logs that were obtained on uh, both of these units a bit later on, and also that the compass is completely unreliable. So you just can't really rely on, on just a simple magnetic compass or a phone compass to, uh, to analyze your flight path when you're inside the cabin of the aircraft. And one other thing I just forgot to mention is that uh, most of the flight was at night and the passengers around me were sleeping. So rather than talk and uh, annoy them, I was actually just typing messages on my laptop and then uh, just videoing the message. So in this short version of the video, you'll see us actually crossing the equator. And I've just put this uh, message up prior to actually showing you the, uh, the evidence that we are actually crossing the equator. So you'll see um, little notes like this uh, when I do the longer version. Um, there's quite a few notes like this that just describe what you're about to see. So currently at uh, Dallas Fort Worth Airport in Texas, USA, and uh, there's our Qantas A380, which flies direct from Dallas to Sydney. So I'll be uh, catching that one home tonight. So I'm just at uh, Dallas Fort Worth Airport and uh, just near gate D15, where I'm about to board the uh, Qantas flight number eight back to Sydney. Good evening. At this time, we would like to invite business and premium economy customers, Qantas Gold and One World Sapphire customers, to board using the dedicated premium boarding lanes on the right hand side. To make the boarding process easier, please have your boarding passes and your passport open to the photo page, ready for inspection by the gate team and the crew on board. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, just uh, boarding the aircraft now, it's the uh, Qantas A380 on the uh, upper deck. This is how you do research properly on uh, these flights, guys. Multiple GPS units, and a compass, and an iPad. And just confirming this is uh, QF8 to Sydney from uh, Dallas Fort Worth in uh, Texas, USA.
I'm definitely in Sydney now. <laughs>